All right, we're here with Phelps, good friend and few, uh, previous employer, taught me everything I know. Here he's gonna demonstrate the flashing of a, a uh, Iron Ridge flash foot. So he already found the rafter with the hammer, marked it, pre-drilled, made sure he nailed that thing, dead center. So you'll see these have the little uh, tick marks in the flashing that shows where you're gonna land that uh, flag. Got these little uh, pieces that screw on that you attach the rail to. All right, so here we've got the uh, the uh, Iron Ridge splice kit. It just slides right in, no hardware necessary. Grounds these racks together. All right, so most solar installers just throw these up with one arm across their back, but I'm uh, old with back injuries, so I'm gonna do it the easy way. Don't try this at home. All right, so two things. We've decided to move the optimizer up a little bit to give it a little more substance to bite onto. Second, these solar edge optimizers are gonna show positive and negative right here where the leads come out. That way you don't end up with reverse polarity. Very important, tape your positive red. All right, so these RECs are much slimmer than the old Sun Power. So we did our best here to get a nice flat plane, but Sometimes with these retro fits, you just kind of got to roll with it. Give it some nice space there for thermal expansion and contraction and some heat loss. All right, we got all the optimizers installed, everything wired up, nice and wire managed. Make sure you don't cheap out on those cheap zip ties, get the nice outdoor. UV rated ones that are gonna last 25, 30 years. Make sure you don't have any wires touching the roof. Get it nice and clean before you start plugging in modules. All right, so they make wire management clips for this, but we're going all zip tie today. You gotta make sure these wires aren't laying on the roof. Nice and managed in there. Now it just has some nice little pre-drill holes and slip them in. Cut those ends off, make it nice and clean. Plug it in and rack them. All right, everyone, this is how a real installer does it. As long as you got a strong back, good balance. Now, this is not OSHA certified, but how most of the industry just does it. Years of experience. All right, last module going down. So we got the nice multicolored array here. You know, the back in the day they weren't as worried as aesthetics as they are these days. 
Most manufacturers are going all black. But uh, this top row is the old Sun Power. These were the top of the line back in the days. Phelps is going to adjust that array to be a little more flat. He's got a pretty saggy roof, so you can only kind of do so much to level it out, but we're trying our best.